Home Assistant is able to integrate with your smart speakers through two methods. The first is a paid option called Home Assistant Cloud. While this option is easier to set up, you'll have to continue to pay a monthly fee to use this service. The other is a free option through integrating your Home Assistant via a Google project. As you can see on my Home Assistant, there is no current Google Home integration. First of all, you will need to enable remote access to allow Google to communicate with your Home Assistant. I have a separate post and video on this, so please refer to the link in the description of this. This tutorial is for those who are setting up Google Home integration for the first time. After enabling remote access, you will need to create an API key with the Google Cloud API console. This is required if you want to be able to say, hey Google, resync my devices, to update any new devices added to or removed from the Home Assistant. Click on create and then select a unique project name and then click create again. If the project name is not unique, Google will automatically append additional characters. The links to these sites are available through my post or on the Home Assistant guide. After creating the project, you will need to then go to Actions on Google Console. Once the page loads, click the Add Import Project button to import the project that you've just created. If you click the drop down, it will appear in the list. Select the project name and click Import Project. Once the page is loaded, click the Home Control category and then click Smart Home. After the project's been imported, you will now need to configure the project. Do this by clicking Build Your Action and then Add Actions. Click Add Your First Action. Under the Add Fulfillment URL, add in HTTPS and then the name of your domain, .duckdns.org, port 8123, forward slash API, forward slash Google underscore assistant. If you refer back to my post, the link in this video, I have example configurations for each of these steps. Go back to the overview page and then click on set up account linking. Keep the account creation as no, I do not want to allow create account creation on my website and then click next. Under linking type, enter in OAuth and authorization code and then click next. Under the client information, enter in https colon slash slash OAuth hyphen redirect dot google user content dot com with a forward slash at the end. The forward slash at the end is important to keep. The client secret can be any value, just to enter in anything random. Under authorization URL, enter in https colon slash slash your domain name dot colon 8123 forward slash auth forward slash authorize. And then the token URL is the same with your home assistant address followed by forward slash auth forward slash token and then click next. Under configure client, add scopes email and then add name and click add scope afterwards. And then click next. Finally, you can add anything in the testing instructions as nobody will be able to see this. Once that's complete, click save. The next step is to enable testing for your project to make it visible in the Google Home device list. Click simulator on the left navigational panel and then click start testing. And then click the button done.
The next step involves adding in the Google Home configuration details into your configuration.yaml file. The configuration is available on the Home Assistant website or available at the link in the description of this video. Simply copy the configuration and then open up your configuration.yaml file. Paste these details somewhere in the file and then you'll need to complete it based on the project that you've set up. So first of all you'll need to complete the project ID. This was the name of the project that we'd created initially, uh, but you should check this in the project settings just in case Google's added in some extra letters at the end of the name. So copy the name and then paste this back into your configuration file. The next one is the API key. You will need to go back to the Google Cloud API console. Click on the overview page and then click enable for home graph API. Once the page is loaded, click create credentials and then select API key. Once the API key has been generated, select the API key and copy it and then paste it back into your configuration.yaml file. Or you can use your secrets.yam file if you're using this to store your sensitive information. And then rename the key to something logical such as Haseo key. And then click save. Now you should save your configuration file and then go back into Home Assistant and restart the server through the Configuration, General, Restart button. The final step is now to link your Google Home to your Haseo test project. From within the Google Home app, add the new device and your new test project will be visible. Click on the device and you'll be re redirected to your Home Assistant login screen. You will now need to enter in your username and password to access and authorize the connection. Click Next, and if all goes well, you'll be automatically returned to the device management screen, and your app should now be linked. A message will appear at the bottom saying the app name is linked. After it's linked correctly, you'll then need to assign rooms for all the new devices that have been identified. Once this is complete, the device will now show as being linked in the Manage Accounts section. If anything goes wrong, you can always click on it and unlink the account. You should now be able to access it through your Google Home app for example, if I click on a switch, the state change should be recognized by Haseo. You should also now be able to issue commands through to your Google Home speaker. Hey Google, turn on the front lamp. Sure, turning on the front lamp. Hey Google, turn off the front lamp. Sure, turning off the front lamp. If the API had been set up correctly, you should now be able to sync your devices. All right, syncing devices for my test app. Hopefully you now should have been able to link your Google Home to your Home Assistant. If all else fails, unlink and relink your accounts or start this tutorial from the start. In the worst case, you may need to do a fresh install of Home Assistant. If you've got any questions, Feel free to leave a comment or send me a direct message. Thanks for watching.